evening all, welcome along to part two. So look what we got. So rear axle, prop shaft, front springs, a couple of little bits. And then the exhaust and some little cross member thing. So let's have a go. Right, start with making the back axle. Oops. Just to save a bit of time, I took all these off the frames and cleaned them all up before I started filming. Because that's a bit boring to look at. So these little tiny things Look like they fit onto those little pegs that I was being careful with on the springs there it fits very nicely See, so there's two little grooves just there and the opposite one, and they fit in those little slots there. Hopefully, I'm sure it will. Look at that! Oh, Just give that a second to set. So, uh, first of all, since posting part one last night, that's a very nice comment, so thanks very much for that. And, um, yeah, it's a nice bit of encouragement, so, yeah, nice one. Um, I'm joined tonight by Jacko, who's under the bench, and Poppy, who's a little spaniel, who's behind me, and uh, the wife's over there doing some painting which she's, she says she's no good, but she's really, really good. Um, so I've got to watch what I say. Right. <clears throat> Back to work. There's this little square thing here. Tiny little thing. Who's in that little hole there? Thank you. 
that's that one. And then prop shaft. So looking at destructions, you can just make out it's got a slight bend in it where the, the two parts meet. So just trying to work out if it really matters too much what sort of angle it goes in. Looks like it sort of goes downwards as you're looking at it. So if you were so the vehicle was that way up. So this shorter part would be horizontal and then the longer part would slope downwards towards the back. I think that's what they're after. Ah yeah, okay. I can see it now. So just there. A bit there. That's um that'd be like a hat bracket with a bearing in it there's a pin there and that goes on the chassis so you can work yeah there's a hole there for it so you can see which way around it should go Okay, so rather than make a hole in the back of the gear bolts, they put a slot. So you can slot it in rather than having to fix both ends into holes, if you see what I mean. So you've got a little bit to a little bit of flexibility to line it up. Clever. Just lining it up there, that's it. Oh, that's nice. Yay. Oh, good stuff. Yeah, like I said last night, in part one, plan is just to spray all this once I've discovered what colour to do it. So I've read that it should be black, but I've also seen where they've been the original sort of army green, dark green colour. And then what they've done is they've repainted the body of the ambulance in blue. Um, so I mean, I suppose it could have been blue as well. So if you're a bit of an expert on these, please let me know in the next day or two, if you could, so I know what colour to paint it. Uh, right, front springs. Okay, see, it helps if you look and make sure you put it on the right side. I was trying to put it on the, on the wrong side there. Uh -huh. I was getting cocky. That's that section, section done. So you can see there, made it very clear, assembly in numerical order. So put the exhaust on before the cross member. So it's little tips like that. If they didn't put that in, you might just go, I'll start here. And then faff around trying to put it in. So it shows they've actually thought about how it actually fits together, which is, um, which is better than some 
some manufacturers, shall we say. So, exhaust pipe. I thought I might spray this or paint it by hand probably first. Um, but looking at it, I think I'll, I'll still put this on now because it should be easy enough to just pick it out once everything else is, is painted. Could be a mistake, we shall see. But it doesn't matter too much because I think what I'm probably going to end up doing on this is having a stab at doing a bit of weathering and putting a load of like airfield mud all over the underside of it like it's been ploughing through fields for, for ages. Uh, which might look good, might look terrible, I don't know, but it'll be fun. And that's what it's about. So, that goes in there. That goes in there. Oh, that, 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 that works. That goes out. Oh, brilliant. Yet again, everything lines up. stuff and then just got this cross member bit to put on uh, I think it's symmetrical I can't see any difference whichever way around you do it um, give it a go yeah I don't think it matters so that just slots over the strings. Oh, yeah. Just a really satisfying little click just as it fitted in there. That's nice, that is.
Okay, so one one thing you might not notice unless you look carefully. Uh, so where the tailpipe there fits into the silencer, the hole for it is actually square. So you've got to put it in at the at the that angle rather than sort of try and put it in and then spin it round. So that's cool. It's easy to miss if you don't spot it. Well, again, all went together really nicely. That will do for now. Um, just going to let that set. Um, okay, so in next next time um, we'll be doing wheels. Yay! Okay, right, that'll do for tonight. Thanks for watching. See you next time.